right, now I kind of touched on this, but let's now talk through your catalogs and line sheets. These are so important. I cannot explain the importance of these and how powerful they can be. So we just went through how to build a, an assortment and why are you going to build an assortment? What are some couple different ways here to build an assortment? First of all, it could be to take your buyers down that buying journey. I wanna show them exactly what my core products are and I want them to be able to easily add those core products or all of my products that are available on this delivery or my top selling products right now or the products that are perfect for a holiday sale. Again, whatever reason you're building these assortments, you're gonna to wanna to do them in a way that your buyers can easily access them, but it's a great way for you to also be sharing with one, not only buyers, but also leads. So you can build out these assortments for multiple different ways. And again, it's a really great way when you're getting access requests from the community to share product with them while they're waiting for approval. So again, keep that in the back of your mind. We're gonna go through that in a little bit but a couple different ways here to use these assortments and how to really take them to the next level. So once you've built out an assortment, you can always export it to a PDF. You can Excel export it. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna create an order form for you. So let's say a buyer has requested access from you. You're not, necess you're not sure necessarily if you're gonna approve them, but you're going down that path. This is a great way for you to share a subset of product. You could also share an order form. So let's say you're talking with a buyer, they want to not do things digitally. You can create a perfect product mix for them and then export an Excel order form for them. You can also directly share an assortment. Um, so a really great way, again, following up with a new buyer or sending this to a new buyer that you've approved. Hey. We've approved you. I've put together a perfect product mix for you. This is what people are selling in your area or like clubs or here's our top sellers. Before you put in any effort to look at all my product on your own, I'm gonna actually be proactive and send this out. So again, you can send this to one or multiple uh, recipients. I went to the share. You go ahead, you click share. Now, do you want to attach an Excel order form? How much easier could you make it for that buyer? Hey, you don't even have to log in. Here's an order form. I put this together for you. Fill out that order form, email it back to me, and we will be on our way. So you can decide whether or not you want to attach an order form. And again, here's where you can tell them exactly what you want them to do. Here's the product I've selected for you. Hey, just in case, here's our new product. Here's our top selling product. Here's our product that would be perfect for you for this pop-up shop perfect for you for your holiday sales. Maybe you're gonna do something with the green and the red and the blue and the silver, something like that. So we're just gonna call this the perfect product. And again, hey, I've attached an Excel order form for you. I've done all this. I've done all the hard work for you to now make it really easy for you to order. You go ahead, you put your name, you click next. They're gonna see an assortment. Um, they will see the first couple of products of the assortment. And I will recommend, I'll show you how to do this in a minute. If you are going to be sharing an assortment, I would recommend putting a cover on it. It just makes it more beautiful when a buyer goes ahead to, to order from it. And it also makes sending something like this a lot prettier. So I'll show you that in a second. But here, there, here it is. I've attached an order form. Here's my phone number. You Again, you can send this out to a lead. A lead would not be able to log in and place an order from it, but it's a really great way for you to promote products. You can send this as a follow-up to a visit. Hey, here's what we talked about. Go ahead, click in and start ordering. Or you can go ahead and send this, you know, mass send it out to a lot of different people. Again, here's what we would recommend our top products. Here's what we would recommend for your holiday shopping, things like that. And then you can go ahead, confirm and send. This will send it out to that user, whether it's a lead or a buyer. If it's a lead and they go to place an order or view products, guess what? The next thing that's gonna pop up is a way for them to request access for you or to connect with a salesperson. So again, taking that lead down that funnel, just like you do in direct to consumer, is so important. Now, if this is a buyer that you've already set up in the system, they're already buying from you, they can click directly in, place the order, or view those products. Or again, if they feel more comfortable and you've attached an Excel order form, 
they can fill that out and send it directly to you as well. I'm gonna give you a couple tips here. So if you're using this core, this um, assortment area, if it is to a lead, so for example, you don't wanna show them pricing yet, you do have the option to make some modifications. So let's say you're sending this out to a lead. You may want to hide the retail price, you may want to hide a wholesale price. Let's say you're sending this to somebody in a different currency. Maybe you want to make this into euros or Canadian dollars, et cetera. You can change the pricing tier as well. But for example, now you see no pricing. This is a great way to entice leads to actually communicate with you as well. You PDF export them, or you wouldn't want to send them an order form because that would have the pricing in it. But sharing it like this, now when somebody logs in, if they are a guest user and can look at it, or a lead that has zero access into your platform, it's great because now they are intrigued, but they don't necessarily know all the information for the pricing. So a little trick there. Really quick, I wanna cover how to add a um, cover to this, and then we're gonna walk into how to even go that one more level and create a custom line sheet. But if I go back into my area where I have all my assortments, so these are that same, it's the same four core product assortment. If you go to this three dot area, you can actually set a cover on it. And so for example, I could go through all of these covers that my brand has set up. You'll do that through marketing. All of that's in our knowledge base if you wanna know how to do that. But essentially you could go in here, you could decide what um, cover you want to add. You click save and you can easily save that. And now that has a cover. And when I go to send that to any account, it will look beautiful with that cover on it. If I go to share this, so let's say I wanna share it, I can go to set permissions and I can make this a public assortment that will now be shareable to all of my buyers that are logging in. Now, if you directly share with anybody and they do have access to the site, it'll automatically be shared with them as well. Um, a couple tips there. 